head coach for Holt, Michigan, Coach Rocky Schaff. Coach Schaff, how long have you been coming to Jeff Jordan State Champ Camps here? This is our, our third year coming here. Uh, it uh, was a good experience. It, it is a good experience for the kids. That's why we come down here. Okay, you guys were state champs two years ago, runner-up this year. Correct. How much of that success would you, you know, give to Coach Jordan? I want to say the, the idea when we come down here, it teaches kids how to drill, how to, you know, how to get into it, the correct way of getting in drilling and such. It's not that all of our kids are down here. It's just that uh, we get the core group here, and then. It kind of spreads throughout the team once we do get back. Uh, a lot of the other kids, you know, we got a lot of kids doing other things throughout the country right now. And so at least we get a core group of kids getting it, you know, getting learning how to drill correctly, the uh, passion that you have to have for it. And it does spread throughout the team once we do get started in the fall. Can you tell the difference between the guys who were at Jordan's and the guys who were not at Jordan's when practice starts, let's say, at the beginning of the year? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see uh, the kids that did come down here, they're ready to go. You know, they, they're uh, excited about the season to start again. You know, they want to ply their wares on, on the unsuspected kids that didn't come down here. Uh, the other kids, you know, they got to learn. Uh, and and it, it does spread throughout, but you know, it takes a few weeks for those kids kind of catch on, like, wow, there, there's a different style of drilling. There's a different style of uh, just getting after it. Okay, Holt, you guys are in direct vicinity of Michigan State. Correct. Are you, do you guys uh, try and support the Spartans as much as you can? Well, we're busy. You know, they're they're busy. We're busy. We don't. I don't see them that much myself, just because I. My concern is for our my high school team that we do have there, and we run quite an involved program throughout the. Uh, you know, we we do a lot of traveling throughout in Ohio and Indiana, and uh, put on our own. You know, events that we do have, so it's kind of tough. Uh, we we see them every once in a while. You know, but. They do a lot of traveling also. I have a daughter that's a manager of their team, so you know, I know how much they're traveling all so over you, the place. So you are a Spartan fan then? Well, I'm not really, I'm a fan of wrestling myself. Uh, I, you know, I'd rather say I'm a fan of all wrestling. I enjoy watching a variety of kids. We've had other colleges come to our place and uh, put on clinics and such, and it's kind of nice. How important is it to you, for you to send guys on to college to wrestle? Well, you know, I, I think that develops with the kid. Uh, this year group, we've got, uh, I do believe, three going to college, going to try wrestling, another one's playing football, you know, so I want to develop the kid. You know, I want to find out what they want to do. Uh, wrestling be nice, because that's, I'm a little be, probably a little bit more proud of those kind of kids. But uh, I want to see, see them just continue on their education. You know, being a teacher and all, I guess I got a, that side of me comes out in that point. What would you say about wrestling in the, st the state of Michigan in the last 10 years as compared to the, the 90s? Oh, i got to say that we are improving you know, as, as a state as a whole. Uh, there's a lot of teams that are just getting the idea of you know, how to really get it mixed up, setting the teams up, getting good individuals going. Uh, I, and I think it's spreading out. Uh, and we don't have, I want to say, used to have some teams that were quite, you know, they were weak. I'm glad to see they had kids on the team. but. They're not really going that extra step. I, this is kind of an extra step here. Like I said, we've got other kids right now wrestling in Florida and a variety of other places. Uh, and it's those things that you got to do once they all come together as a team. Uh, more and more schools are doing that in Michigan. So it's, it's a good sign of the quality of the wrestling that we're going to be having coming out. All right, Coach, if there's anything you want people to know about what, has Holt, what Holt has going on the wrestling team, what would it be? Oh, gosh. Uh, I hate to say one thing. Uh, I like to think that we're doing, we're putting out some quality kids. Uh, kids that are going to be good citizens once they get out. And I know it sounds cheesy and all, but I, that's important to me. And uh, they know how to compete once they do get out of there. Uh, it's expected of them to come in there and be ready to scrap. And it's, uh, it's a learning experience for those kids that never wrestled before and they come out maybe as freshmen. And they're kind of like, oh, so this is what it's all about. And, I, I want to see them doing some you know, more things uh, to excel as when they do get out of school. You know, we, that's where I, I want to see the young man when they turn 21, not just some kid that's a good athlete when they're 17, 18. We want to see the finished finish product at the end of the uh, rainbow here, so to speak. Coach Shaft, it has been really fun talking to you. You have a lot of insight on more than just wrestling and life. But I want you to get back in there and enjoy that sweat you got going that I just got going, all right? Yeah. Thanks, Thank you Coach. very much.